With Taiwan facing ever increasing pressure from China, President Tsai Ing-wen issued a call for cross-strait dialogue using the first National Day address of her term to try and break through the chill in relations with China. In a wide-ranging speech, Tsai also made clear her support for Premier Lin Chen and stated there would be no shortcuts on the path to reform. At the first national day of her presidency, Tsai Ing-wen was eager to discuss the diplomatic gains her administration had made since entering office. Under the principles of steadfast diplomacy and mutual assistance for mutual benefits, I visited the heads of state and deputy heads of state of Panama, Paraguay, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, Belize, El Salvador, and Guatemala. On cross-strait relations, Tai reiterated her administration's guarantees to uphold the position first outlined in her May 20th inaugural address. We respect the historical fact that in 1992, the two institutions representing each side of the strait met, and we advocate that both sides must collectively cherish and sustain the accumulated outcomes of over 20 years of cross-strait interaction and negotiation since 1992. But Tsai continued to resist acknowledging the so-called consensus reached in that meeting, instead calling for China to acknowledge the existence of Taiwan and its democracy. Our pledges will not change and our goodwill will not change, but we will not bow to pressure and we will of course not revert to the old path of confrontation. This is our fundamental attitude toward maintaining the status quo, and it is based on the collective hope for peace across the Taiwan Strait. China's Taiwan Affairs Office released a statement in response, saying that the goodwill approach mentioned by Tsai was predicated on Taiwan's acceptance of the 1992 consensus.